Skip, what happened last night? First of all and foremost, congratulations to the Golden State Warriors and especially to Kevin Durant. He didn't wind up chasing a ring in Golden State. He wound up leading Golden State to a ring it blew without him a year ago. Now, back to last night. Last night left me flat, left me numb, it left me stunned, it left me let down and disappointed because I predicted Golden State in seven because I truly believed that LeBron James and Kyrie Irving could give Golden State all it wanted, that it could make this a classic seven-game series, another seventh game back in Oracle, and then we would see what we would see. And last night, I saw once again a team in Cleveland that should have won game three. We all agreed on that. You agreed on that. Mm -hmm did win game four convincingly, hugely. And last night, with 10-14 left in the second quarter, I saw that Cleveland. I saw a Cleveland that was in control of that basketball game. And I am thinking, here we go. I'm thinking this is headed back to Cleveland for game six, and well might be headed back to Oracle for game seven. And then I'm thinking, huh? What, 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 wait, where did Cleveland go? What, what, what just happened? I don't remember a more stunning stretch in my whole career of covering the National Basketball Association, dating back to days I covered the Lakers for the LA Times in this city, Los Angeles, California. Shannon Sharp. Yep. I, I, I'm still a little speechless about what happened with Cleveland up eight with 10-14 left. And over the next nine minutes and nine seconds, the Cavs got outscored 36 to 11. 36 to 11, they went from up eight to down 17. And that was basically game, set, finals, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Because they're not going to come back from 17. I know they got a little close there early in the fourth quarter, but it never felt like a game to me as it did up eight early in the second quarter. So I look at what happened. LeBron played the whole stretch, and he didn't do anything wrong. He just didn't do enough right. He only took two shots in that stretch, that 36 to 11 stretch, and he did make one, which was a three-point shot. Mm -hmm. Kyrie sat for a minute and a half of that stretch. Otherwise, when he played, he went one for five with two turnovers. Not very good. No. So LeBron winds up over that stretch a minus 25. And again, I, it, it's not wrong. It's just... We're, you got to do a little more, attack, do, do something. It was one of those strange, disengaged stretches where you say, LeBron, do something. You're the best player on the planet. Save the day. Stop the bleeding. You mean like pass the ball and they missed the shot? They, they all missed shot. It, it wasn't just one guy missing, although, again, Kyrie won for five is, is no good. But in that stretch, mm -hmm. to Kevin Durant's credit, RJ, uh, Richard Jefferson, guard him some, and LeBron took him some, and he scored 13 in that 36 to 11 stretch. Mm -hmm. Did he not hugely deserve MVP of this series? Well, it's it not was, even questioned. Yeah, okay. no brainer. So, no brainer. So then, very early in the fourth quarter, it did get down to three on a really sweet little reverse layup that LeBron made sort of Up around and under, and under Kevin that Durant. That was his left hand. And it was a left hand. It was sweet. It was <laughs> really it was a big time shot that very few humans can make. Correct. And yet, right away, Kevin Durant went right back down and made a 17-foot fall away on LeBron. And it's just like, can't touch that, man. Nope. That's over. Nope. Speaking of our man, MC Hammer, back in Oakland. Mm -hmm. they're, they're having fun today, aren't Yo, they? Yeah, they. And then it went back and forth. Iggy, who had a huge game, he played 38 minutes. So he played like a st starter's minute. Yeah, starter's they, they minute. They just, Zaza Pacheep shot. They just said, you're out. You're, you're just trying to <laughs> thug people and rough people up and, and hockey goon people, and you're done. You played 10 minutes, and Iggy scores 20 points. But Kyrie Irving in that fourth quarter, even when it seemed like it could maybe get back to a semblance of the game, he went 0 for 6 in the fourth quarter. No good. So, again, LeBron didn't have Kyrie riding shotgun. But and, you, yeah. You were not going to say what LeBron did in the fourth quarter? Not enough. No, but not I'm, enough. but, but here's the, no, 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 Skip, don't do that, Skip. Don't do that. Yeah. Give the man I, his credit. I realize he stuffs the stat sheet, but, but I got to tell you, there were too many stretches that game. It was weird because he looked tired to me too often 
on both ends. If you didn't play offense. How, how about the back-to-back -back sequence in the fourth quarter when it looked like they might make it a semblance of a game? And LeBron and J.R. Smith, they I don't know what's going on. I don't know whose fault it was. I've, but back-to-back, -back, they both lost somebody. Well, and one time, Durant gets an uncontested dunk, if we could see that. And then next time down, Iguodala gets an uncontested dunk, and it's just game over. It just ripped whatever heart was left out of the Cleveland Cavaliers. You can't play like that when, in a game of this magnitude, when, do or die, sink or swim. But Jr., that was Jr.'s guy. He saw LeBron. I, LeBron sure. would skip. He saw Klay Thompson. So LeBron is about to pick the pass. Maybe. Jr. No, Jr. knows he can't get around that. Okay, LeBron looked gassed to me. And too often in this series, he looked gassed. And guess what? Guess who averaged the most minutes played during the regular season of the NBA LeBron. season? LeBron James? And who averaged the most? 14 years? Who averaged the most minutes in playoffs? I didn't even tr track that. Him. Okay. Because you got to think. It's wrong. It's just wrong. You, well, you can't do it in the regular season. You know what? You paid for it last night. Or you paid for it in game three. You just paid for it too many times. You're, you're getting up there in age. That's 14 NBA seasons with high mileage. And you're just looking gassed in cru crucial stretches when they need you. If you're the best player on the planet, you got to come a little bigger than that for the whole game. You can't take off. You can't play in spurts. And I saw him play in spurts. And you know what I saw in the end last night? I saw a team that finished the regular season 23 and 23 over its last 46 games. I saw a Cavaliers team in the big picture that finished 22nd in the NBA in team defense. And that's not all on LeBron, but he used to be their best defender, and now he's just a pretty good defender who plays in spurts. So what did I see in the end? I Maybe I saw that they were who we, we thought they were. Maybe that's who they were down the stretch, and they finally, in the biggest moment, were just deflating because they couldn't hang with a team that just did have more firepower against their 22nd ranked defense. So in the end, I don't know. I'm very happy for Kevin Durant, and I'm deflated by what I saw last night for LeBron and Kyrie's sake. Although I, too, would like to congratulate the Golden State Warriors. They were clearly the better team. And the thing I always say about a series is that the best team will always win. You can't hit four walk-offs. You can't get four games or when you hit a last second free throw to win the game. When you got to win four out of seven, the best team will always win. And this is the reason why the Golden State Warriors were so welcoming and who wouldn't be of Kevin Durant. What happened last night is that Kevin Durant happened. Every time they get the game close, what would he do? He's the only guy on the Warriors team, Skip, that you don't have to run a, a pick for him. You don't have to run a pin down for him. Give him the ball and says, okay, KD, we're clearing it out for you. He pulled up from 27 in, in, in uh, Kevin Love's face, three-pointer. Pulled up from 25 in LeBron's face. Goes to the baseline, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. step back in LeBron's face. Skip, there's, there's no answer for that. He's seven foot tall. He's shooting the ball at a trajectory, probably leaving his hand at about nine feet. You can't block that shot. Uh, think about this. Let's, let's put this in context. Last year in game seven, they scored 89 points. This year, game five, they score 129. That's a 40-point difference. How many points did Kevin Durant have last night? 39. Mm -hmm. Think about this. Harrison Barnes scored 65 points in a seven-game series. Kevin Love. Kevin, mm -hmm. Kevin Durant had 176. Mm -hmm. That's a plus 111. Okay. That so what did I tell you about last year? They held Golden State. The Cavaliers held Golden State 15 points under its regular season average. Yes. Scoring average. Yes. Over these final five games, Golden State averaged six more points than it averaged in the regular season. Mm -hmm. Well, that has something to do with the, the new or old Cavs defense, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I, look, I look at it. LeBron was LeBron. It's hard. You say you feel let down. Are you, are you let down by the Cavs because they, you don't think they played to their potential? Or you're disappointed because you don't think LeBron James did enough to help this team win? A, a little of both, and it's hard to, to lay total blame on one doorstep over the 36-11 to 11 run, but that's the season. That's the game. It's just like the end of game three. They're up seven with 3.06 left, and they give up an 11 to nothing run to end the basketball game. Mm -hmm. No good. That's King in his palace. You, you can't do it.